Ankur, I'm part of the investments team, and I'd be speaking about manufacturing. Uh, so from Elon Musk, who recently sued OpenAI, we go back to the Elon Musk, who's also the founder of uh, Tesla and SpaceX. Uh, now, India's ambition of becoming a $7 trillion economy is being built on the backs of manufacturing becoming a trillion dollar sector. Today, manufacturing contributes to about 16% to India's GDP and is the second largest employer. This sector today, we feel, is finding some wind in its wings. Uh, the West is looking for alternatives to China. The government of India has taken note of that and we now have a very elaborate Make in India campaign. They have put out $25 billion worth of investments in 13 strategic sectors which will help boost manufacturing in India. And right now, this comes at a very opportune time. Our, uh, our, our, our economy is currently being formalized under a unified tax code and we are increasingly getting digitized. But again, as Bal also previously mentioned, it comes with its own unique India challenges. Because 40% of the manufacturing output in India is being contributed by fragmented small and medium businesses and it comes with its own challenges. The usual complaint from the manufacturing sector in, in, in India is that you don't give us consistent quality, you don't deliver on time, and more or less it's very difficult to trust you with delivering what you say you're going to deliver. But when we went on the ground and we spoke to multiple suppliers, we kept on hearing certain reasons which, keep, which kept on coming over and over again. So there are four large problems that we feel manufacturing in India struggles from. The first one is underutilized capacity. About 30 to 40 percent of capacity in the manufacturing setups in India is being not utilized right now. Uh, the productivity of the labor is quite low. Uh, in certain verticals, the attrition of labor is as high as 30 percent month on month. Beyond that, we are using archaic technologies, so our production efficiency is low, and access to working capital is one of the largest problems currently. Now, founders have taken note of this. They are attracted by the large size of this market, and they're using technology to build solutions uh, in, in verticals I'll talk about. So currently, if you look at manufacturing, you'll see that the increasing digital penetration has given rise to certain digital marketplaces. Uh, these marketplaces actually help map capacity and capability in certain sectors uh, with suppliers and buyers. We have very recently invested in a company called Karkhana.io, which is helping OEMs take note of their contract manufacturing requirements and service them using these small and, ma and, small and medium businesses. The XR technology also, as Bala, was, as Bala previously mentioned, uh, is a game changer when it comes to labor scaling. And one of our portfolio companies, uh, Cusmat, is using this technology to help train workers better. Earlier it used to take three months for these workers to get trained in different manufacturing and mining setups. Today it has been reduced to two weeks. Now what also fundamentally is changing is that the number of connected devices in manufacturing setups has gone up 3x in the last five years. These are IoT enabled connected devices. So they can actually help you monitor your assets and processes much better. Uh, we have come across companies who are using uh, these IoT technologies to be able to monitor pipelines for gas and oil and gas companies, which used to be a tremendously difficult task and leads to large economic losses. We have also seen that these connected devices are throwing up a lot of data, which needs to be analyzed. So analytics layers are being, are being created on top of this data to create safer and more compliant uh, atmospheres. We have, uh, we have seen examples of companies which are coming up, helping especially the pharma manufacturing sector to be able to trace and track their drugs more accurately and having full visibility across the supply chain. Some founders are also taking even bolder bets. They are trying to change the manufacturing realm of India to, a, to, a, to an absolutely different realm altogether by eliminating them. This is being done through robotic automation processes where we increase efficiency by reducing human intervention. And we are now using AI on top of the data that we collect to create predictive models which can help us predict downtimes and can also help us create more uh, safer and more uh, optimum decision making. Manufacturing has existed, it's an, it's an age old industry, but right now we feel things are changing. Global supply chains are coming to India. We speak about Apple trying to manufacture iPhones out of the country. We also speak about Tesla trying to set up a gigafactory here. 
our own consumption as a nation is also increasing and this comes at a point where we are hitting inflection points in multiple ways where uh, the logistics sector is, is getting digitized, the economy is getting digitized and more and more people are on board. Today about 80% blue collar workers have smartphone, have smartphone penetration and we can interact digitally with them. I believe there are multiple billion dollar opportunities that exist in the manufacturing sector. We are looking to invest in distributing manufacturing uh, models uh, because we feel that supply chains are being laid down from grounds up currently in India. For example, say the EV sector, while the incumbents existed, the Aethers and the Olos of the world continue to dominate this sector. And there are multiple other, other supply chains where we feel large outcomes can be built. SaaS companies that are building for the manufacturing sectors are very hopeful that they can cater uh, to, the Indian, to, the, to, the, to the Indian use cases and we have seen this across multiple companies that these enterprises then take them and seed them into different geographies creating global solutions altogether. There is also a unique opportunity that exists in the, in the manufacturing uh, perspective itself that you can use high technology IP technologies and create very deep modes. We are seeing companies who are building six axis CNC machines. They are taking IPs on the materials that they're building and creating new packaging solutions. Uh, we continue to look for more and more opportunities in this sector and we are hopeful uh, that this will be a huge sector. Thank you. Mm -hmm.